We're here with Josh Sweat, the Philadelphia Eagles defensive end out of Oscar Smith High School in Chesapeake, back home in the 757 with his Under the Lights football combine and dodgeball tournament. Josh, good to be back in the 757, get back in the old groove of things and see some familiar faces. How's it feel for you? Oh, it's great, man. I'm just, it's good to be back. I haven't played on this field for like 10 years, man. It's, it's nice being out here, being out with a lot, a lot of my guys that I got to get out here, being around the kids, and um, it's great, man. It's great. Yeah, I saw one of your guys, Trenton Cannon, who you ran track with, I believe, kick yeah. a 10 high school NFL guy as well. How much does it matter to you to, to come back home? I know you have a lot of great memories from these days in the yeah. 757, playing at Oscar Smith, big moments, national TV games, yeah. playing for Coach Morgan, who I'm sure you have stories about. But oh, yeah. just this, <laughs> just the, the whole – does it bring back and rekindle a lot of those things from those days? I mean, yeah, for sure, especially on this field, man. We this is You only play on this when you, you know, playing in big games. So – like I said, bit, last time I played on it, though, it was not pleasant. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get to play, but, you know, it was like I just wanted my team to win because we, we had a shot at going to states and winning it. But um, Which loss was that? I'd hate to bring uh, it up. Ocean Lakes. Ocean Lakes, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 But they had a pretty good guy on defensive oh, yeah. line as an NFL, too, no, Derek Naughty. Uh, so. Yeah, they had a, um, well, he wasn't there. He was actually gone. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Derek so was, was gone, but they had a lot of dudes. They had, yeah. yeah, they had a lot of dudes for sure. But, um. It's nice. It's just nice being back out here, man. And once we got everything flowing and organized, it's, it's good now. Yeah. It's a unique combination you have with testing, with 40, vert, all these things, and then also a dodgeball tournament. A lot of guys have come back and given back to the 7x7. You're doing something different, and it's free for yeah. the kids and community. Tell me what made you want to do that, what propelled you to do this. Well, I mean, I feel like I got a, I got enough to give back. You know what I mean? So it's unfortunate enough to give them a good experience, um, have them come out for a chance to win prizes. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, it's just, it's nice, man. I, w- I just want to get them, give them the experience because some I wish I would have had. You know, going up, we didn't, we didn't have a lot of guys around. You know, coming back. They, I mean, obviously doing their own big things. You know what I mean? So, I'm fortunate. You know, to give back. That's that's really that's really it. Take me back, Josh. When you were a kid, was there an NFL player or two that you met and said, "I want to be that one day"? And was there anything that you went to camp wise, combine wise, that was sort of an inspiration or motivation for you? Honestly, the guy who really made me want to take my stuff to a next level, even when I wasn't, was uh, Andrew Brown. Okay. When he transferred there, and, he, and I saw how big he was, like as far as like on the on the national scale, like he was already known when D tackling and stuff. And I never knew football went that far in high school. And I was like, yeah, I, I want to be like him. Isn't it for pretty real. crazy? The NFL, you had three defensive linemen, yourself, Andrew Brown, Jalen Holmes, the other side for Lake Taylor, yeah. and that national televised AM. Yeah. Did you think back to those days, some of those three moments? Yeah. We, um, <laughs> You yeah. keep in touch with those guys, I'm sure, right? Yeah, he was good. But who was it? was uh, Salem? Was it Salem? Nashville River? I forgot who it was. We played with Jalen Holmes. Lake Taylor. Lake, Lake Taylor. Taylor. Yeah. yeah, they – we annihilated him, but <laughs> Jalen Holmes, was, was he was good for right. sure. Massive. Yeah. I think – yeah, he went to uh, Ohio State yeah. Vikings. I actually had to play against him because he played tight end. I played defense against right. him. And I was uh, – Sophomore, I think. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. But pretty rare to have that from Massive. this area in one game. Yeah. Massive. Yeah, man. Like, well, like I said, um, Andrew for sure was the one that made me take my game to the next level. And playing at Oscar Smith, having Andrew there, you, he was a Gatorade player. Here. You're a nationally yep. recognized guy. I mean, that had to push and get the most out of you. And once you got to Florida yeah. State, that had to say, all right, I've been through the ringer and I know what yeah. it takes. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. And I've been, I've been through, and I've been through hitting the restart button after injuries and stuff, man. It's just, I mean, I feel like I can just do anything at this point. Andrew got me in the camps and stuff, and he was like, hey, that's all you got to do, dog, and just do your thing, and you're good. I was scared going in them camps. Them one-on-ones really? and stuff, really? going against top ring dudes, and I wasn't even, you know, I didn't even play it down in of uh, high school Which is before, rare to think because I, before you put, I got like 12 offers, I didn't even play a snap of varsity football. Yeah, that's weird because people, you put fear in the heart yeah. of them, but you, you had some intimidate, yeah. you were a little scared of them. For sure. Even okay. like playing regular season, so my first game was against Jalen Holmes. Real confused. <laughs> bro, he was, he was giant. But looking back, was that a good thing? That it yeah. Voted? yeah, when I was scared, it wasn't like I was scared to like, I would, it just made me just... Yeah. Just run, run into the wall. I was there that night. You got hurt against Western Branch. Tell me about just that process and getting back to what it what it took from you. And and I guess the the words of wisdom you got from Coach Morgan and those in your support inner circle during that time and how yeah. you got to there. Yeah. Oh. Um, got through that, I should say. Yeah, man. It was. I've never been into it, so going into it, I didn't know how serious it was. Um, I just thought it was, hey, get surgery, get back out. But man, the rehab is ridiculous, man. That was the hardest part, getting the strength back. Um, still to this day, it's not never the same. Mm-hmm. Still, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm plenty strong and plenty fast, but it's like never the same. And I just don't like hitting the reset button because you all, 
you got to start from behind. But, you know, the way I go about it is your grind is a lot different when you get injured. So take it as a blessing. Your work ethic will be that much better going forward for sure. Because you got to do more than everybody. What was the best piece of advice you got on your journey to the NFL? Um, shoot, nobody feels sorry for you. Just get it. Just you got to find a way to get it done, no matter what what disadvantage you have. Mm-hmm. Like I said, your grind is a lot different. And when you starting from that that from nothing and stuff like that, yeah. your grind is way different. So. Yeah, just get it done. You're probably only a third, maybe a quarter of the way through of your pro career, you hope. Five seasons in, you've gotten a nice contract, 11 sacks, career high, a pro bowl, just a couple seasons removed. What are you most proud of during your journey here to this point? What's the thing that kind of sticks out like, this is what I'm most, you know, proud about as far as accomplishing this? Honestly, like, man, my first pro bowl really meant a lot to me, man. Just being recognized around the, uh, is everybody done? No, they don't. (laughs) Just being recognized by people around the league, actually getting voted by players, coaches, and stuff like that, and um, that was really what was a wake-up call. Like, bro, you on the right track. You know what I mean? After I signed my deal, I made the Pro Bowl, and then after that, it was like I'm just I need people to know how good I really am. You know what I mean? And it's it's coming though. I get better, way way better every year. Well, you're certainly in the conversation as uh, perhaps the best guy from the 757. We've got a list of guys uh, that are in the league. Browns in the league, Nani's in the yeah. league, Jeremiah Wusu and others. Uh, for you, getting to the Super Bowl, what was that experience like, and what kind of fuel does it give you moving forward here? Super Bowl was um Super Bowl was nice, man. It was. I mean, obviously we didn't get it done, but it was a good, it was a great experience, man. Just being the journey, just leading up to it too, man. Just get being with the guys and stuff like that. It was nice, man. It was, it was nice for sure. I'm just. I wanted it for me and the guys, but, but damn. <laughs> but the media and stuff weren't that bad either. It was actually kind of fun. When they let everybody in there, it was funny. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, we ain't get it done. <laughs> Josh, it's been so cool to watch you mature both on and off the field. Tell me what you would like to give back to the 757 as far as your words, be it a, a kid out there, be it the high school players and coaches, be it the Eagles fans. What you like to tell them about coming back? I'm sure there's something you want to do year after year after year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is, um... Depending on how the dodgeball go, I really want to see this being like something that I do in the future. Like, I want to take the dodgeball thing. I want to travel and do it. Nice, quick hitters, you know, in different states and stuff like that. But this is nice. The combine is nice and simple. It's quick. I mean, I, I want to keep doing it, man. Hopefully this goes nice, uh, smoothly. So, yeah. Well, fly, eagle, fly. Josh Sweat from Oscar Smith High School. Just big thank you so much. All the best and continue the great work. Yes, sir. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you.